Today we're going to go for a little lake trout redemption. Now last time we came out here, ended up getting some brook trout, but we failed to catch a lake trout that was actually a keeper. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Honestly, I don't really care if we catch a bunch of fish. I just want to catch one that's going to be a keeper. So I also have a p big piece of news that uh, you might actually notice right now, but once we get all set up, I'll tell you guys about it. Uh, I am fishing with Zach again. You have seen him in the last several videos now. So uh, you already know a little bit about him. You know that he likes to fish for bass. What else you got for us? How about this? Have you ever seen Jumanji? Yes. Okay, two strengths and a weakness. Two strengths and a weakness? Like fishing wise? Anything. I hate bees. Freak <laughs> me out. Okay, bees is the weakness. It's a good thing it's winter. <laughs> yeah, right? And then two strengths. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. What am I good at? Uh, I'm good at bass fishing and uh, I'm good at fly fishing as well. So that's a little uh, more about Zach. <laughs> that's pretty good. Anyway, we're going to get set up and then I'll tell you, um, uh, what was I going to tell you? Oh, and then I'll tell you about the kind of the surprise that maybe you've noticed already. So recently, if you don't know, I had a huge scuff on my lens because I ended up dropping it. Unfortunately, that's just kind of part of the, the deal with this outdoor filming is that sometimes your equipment gets ruined. But anyway, it was kind of a bummer and it was going to take me a while to repair. The big news is that someone sent me a brand new lens. So I just wanted to say thank you. His name is Steve and all the others who reached out and bought some jigs from me and uh, I was just really surprised by how much support I got after that happened. If you guys would, go down below and thank Steve and thank everyone else who uh, helped support me. Uh, anyway, let's get to it today. As I mentioned, we're fishing for lake trout. So I'm just gonna be jigging today and decide to go with the white, switch it up from my normal chartreuse. We are fishing 23 feet of water. I haven't seen anything yet, but uh, that really doesn't mean a whole lot. So, oh, never mind. there's a fish here. Seems like a decent one. He came in so far up. Oh yeah? Yeah. Any to it? Uh yeah, it looks like a keeper. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think I can eat that. Absolutely. So that didn't take long. We got our lake trout, so we are officially gonna do the first lake trout catch and cook of the year. He's not bad, uh, definitely aggressive. Got him on the white jig head this time. Yeah, switching it up, not using chartreuse for once. This will make a great fish to have for dinner. It's a good eater size, not too big, and of course makes the cutoff for the legal limit that we can take, so. And yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fish for fun for a while, uh, see what else we can catch. So if you guys want to try some of my jig heads that I tie up, you can contact me down below by, on my email or on my Instagram page. Well, anyway, it feels good to get one in the bag. We're gonna keep fishing and see how the rest of the day goes. No, they don't. Oh, not a flag. Black, same one. Yep, probably a tiny brookie. I'll go check it out. Oh, Got him. Some fish. Oh man, it's probably gonna be the biggest brook I've ever caught. What's your biggest? 15. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could have it beaten. This is far north of 15 inches. Far north? Like 20? I'd say like 18. It's got a belly. 
Ooh, that is a good one. Beautiful. That's a big That's one. a nice brookie. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't take me into the rocks. That is so nice. What do you say, like 15, 17? Yeah, maybe even 18. That's pretty, yeah, 17, 18. Woo! Biggest brookie ever. That was nice. That was awesome. Good deal, man. <laughs> All <right. laughs> Already psyched. Oh, man. Zach was just saying how he wanted to catch a nice brook trout. Zach uh, got his PB yeah. brook trout, actually. That was a really nice brook trout. Once they start to get shoulders on them. Those kind of seem like there's something down there. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, a Whoa, that's a big mark. That's the biggest mark. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Got, got him. Oh. Is it big? Feels bigger. I didn't set the gain yet, but that looked like a monstrous mark. He ain't bad. I wouldn't say he's the monster I thought he was, no. but <laughs> hey, that's a that's, that's a, a good, good like fish for this body of water. Later, dude. Oh man, I was so excited though. I thought that was gonna I be. Was yeah, I thought it was a ten pounder at least. I guess I'll turn that gain down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the board for Lakers now. Yeah, big Laker and a nice brook trout. Or I guess reverse that. A nice Laker and a big pro <laughs> trout. <laughs> Not a monster, but uh, I'll take it. Once again, on that white marabou jig. It's nice to catch one on something other than chartreuse, but uh, let's get him back here. I guess, uh, I think we might jig here for a bit. Yeah. This is two fish in like five minutes now. We didn't have a huge mark. He's all right, nothing huge. Very stubborn though. Yeah. Let's go, head up. <laughs> there, nice. there, geez, he's about the same exact size. Yeah. White's been doing well for me today. Well, there's another one. This time on the white, well, this time. Every fish we've got today has been on white. So the bite was actually pretty good in the morning, but uh, after like 10 or 11 o'clock, it just dropped off. So say goodbye to Zach. We're actually going out fishing tomorrow, so uh, yeah, we just decided to call it early. There's no sense kind of sticking it out in hopes that it's going to get better, especially in this spot. We already kind of know that when the bite shuts off, it tends to stay that way until like the last hour of daylight. And uh, how long is that from now? Like four hours? Something like that. Yeah, so I, I don't feel like sitting around for four hours in hopes that it gets better. So we'll call it a day, recoup for tomorrow, and just go home and do a catch and cook with this lake trout. So I will see you guys there.
and we finally have a lake trout to cook up for a catch and cook. Now the funny part is that exactly one year ago, I made this video right here where we did exactly what we're about to do, a lake trout catch and cook. But this video isn't gonna be as complex as this video that we did up here. I'm gonna show you a more simplistic recipe that is still just as delicious. So let's get ready. We're gonna start prepping our ingredients and we're gonna have this meal ready to sit down and eat in no time. 